Hey everybody, today I want to look at a portable studio option using an iPhone or an iPad even. But one of the things that not everyone thinks about is actually connecting a bigger audio device to it. So here I've got this Steinberg UR22 Mark II and it is a USB interface that connects through essentially what used to be called the camera extension kit for the iDevice. And what we're looking at is connecting it, but you have to also have the power adapter connected to the wall. That's what gives the bus enough power to be able to power this device. So this right now is connected to that, and then the little adapter is also connected to the wall. We get two audio inputs. We get a stereo audio output. We also have MIDI I.O. as well. Now, when it's connected, because it's class compliant, it's just going to show up and work. This is actually one of the only places right now on the screen inside your phone that you're actually going to be able to see it unless you're using other apps which show it up as well. And so, for instance, I've got this MIDI Wrench app on my phone, and it actually shows up on that first screen you don't see it anywhere else in here right this moment because the MIDI right here is just showing up for Bluetooth MIDI, but it will show up on that first page as the hardware MIDI. And so you can see it right there, Steinberg UR22 Mark II. You'll see it in both the hardware and the virtual port. However, it does work, and it works with all of the apps as well. So a great tool great way to be able to connect a nice higher quality audio input into your device and anything that's class compliant is going to work so don't don't forget about using any kind of usb audio device that's class compliant and then you can also because it has midi and audio you can use it to record both so this is a great way if you're a singer songwriter piano bass or other midi instrument you can actually record vocals and that instrument simultaneously it's great with GarageBand or any of the other digital audio workstations available on iOS, and it's just really cool. And this is not like a sponsored video or anything. This is just equipment that I have sitting around. I just wanted to share because I think that this is really where the future of audio production is going to be going. Eventually, we're going to be doing so much with just nicer interfaces, but using our smaller, smaller devices. Okay, hope you're having a great week. And I'll be posting another video up in a couple of days and I'll see you then.